Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from the Church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. It is June the 8th, 2024. This is the Saturday edition and we are in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 1, Paul says to us, For we know that when this earthly tent we live in is taken down, that is, when we die and leave this earthly body, we will have a house in heaven, an eternal body made for us by God himself and not by human hands. We grow weary in our present bodies, and we long to put on our heavenly bodies like new clothing. For we will put on heavenly bodies. We will not be spirits without bodies. While we live in these earthly bodies, we groan and sigh, but it's not that we want to die and get rid of these bodies that clothe us. Rather, we want to put on our new bodies so that these dying bodies will be swallowed up by life. God himself has prepared us for this, and as a guarantee, he has given us his Holy Spirit. So we are always confident, even though we know that as long as we live in these bodies, we are not at home with the Lord. For we live by believing and not by seeing. Yes, we are fully confident, and we should rather we would rather be away from these earthly bodies, for then we will be at home with the Lord. So whether we are here in this body or away from this body, our goal is to please him. For we must all stand before Christ to be judged. We will receive each receive whatever we deserve for the good or evil we have done in this earthly body. So verses 1 through 10 in chapter 5 are some of the most encouraging uh, verses in all of scripture. Because what Paul is explaining to us is the understanding that we are simply temporary on this planet. That this is not all that there is. That the short amount of time that we are on earth compared to eternity, it, it just can't compare. Because from the moment we're born, literally from the moment we're conceived, we begin to grow, but we also begin to die. And as we grow older, we all acknowledge and we understand the breaking down of the human body. And that's why Paul says, this is not all there is. There is something greater. And there's a hope that we have that one day we will receive our resurrected, glorified body. We see a glimpse of this in the Gospels when, when Jesus takes Peter, James, and John to the Mount of Transfiguration and they get a glimpse of his transfigured, his glorified body, the body that he would have um, after the, the resurrection. And we have the hope that one day we're not just going to be these spirits that float off into the abyss. We are going to have a new and a glorified body, and, and it's going to be something special. But we can't just focus on what Paul says here because concerning our bodies, because he, he does all that to lead us up to the understanding that whether we are human beings on this earth with these physical, frail, breaking down old bodies, or whether we are in eternity, spending eternity with God in our glorified new bodies, they're all for one purpose. They're all given to us for one thing. And that is what he says in verse nine. So whether we are here in this body or away from this body, our goal is what? Our goal is to please him. And he says that one day we're going to stand before him and be judged. So may we all strive every day in these earthly bodies that we have these temporary homes may we strive to please him every day knowing that one day we will be given that glorified resurrected um 
perfect body in order to please him. But let's not wait till then. Let's do it now. Let's please him today by loving him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength and loving our neighbor as ourselves. Let's work on that today. Shall we pray? Father, thank you for the wonderful words of Paul to the church at Corinth and to us. Help us today to live our lives in such a way that they would be pleasing to you. We know that we are sinners in this broken down body, but we've been saved by grace. So help us to please you today. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll have a super Saturday. Look forward to seeing you next time. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow at West Shore as we continue in our summer series, Sunshine from the Psalms. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at Psalm 30, and we're going to be discovering the incredible, amazing grace of God found in the book of Psalms. So join us if you can tomorrow at 11 a.m. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care and may God bless you.